uh, call on private and local order of the day number one. Royal New Zealand Foundation of the Blind Act Repeal Bill, second reading. Mr Speaker. The Honourable Nikki Wagner. I move that the Royal New Zealand Foundation of the Blind Act Repeal Bill is now read a second time. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Be, be, be narrow and we'll be good. Yep. Thank you. Um, in the last 126 years, the Blind, Blind Foundation and some of its previous iterations has been looking after low vision and blind New Zealanders very, very successfully. Originally, it was the Jubilee Institute for the Blind, and that was followed by the New Zealand Foundation for the Blind, and then the Royal New Zealand Foundation for the Blind. And they have all done invaluable work supporting blind and low vision New Zealanders. It was in the late 1800s that the first formal service was begun. It was established a school and a residence in Parnell. It was originally a wooden building, but it developed over a long time, and the new brick, gracious buildings that are still there today were built in the early 1909-1910. During that time, they developed their services. They offered sheltered employment, workshop, and residential programs. And through the work of the Foundation over nearly a hundred years, they managed to change the attitude to people and the perceptions of blind people and make it more possible for them to be fully integrated into New Zealand life. As we went on, as the 20th century came, they gave up the workshops, they closed the schools, and other institutional activities were wound up. Today, the Foundation's aim is to provide services and support that supports blind people and people with low vision to be self-reliant, to support them to live in the community, to let them have more choice about their lives and to help them reach their full potential. In anticipation of the Helen Keller Communication Day, the Foundation recently put out a press release, and this is what it said. The Bland Foundation in New Zealand's main provider of practical and emotional support for the thousands of Kiwis who are affected by sight loss, enabling them to face the future with confidence. It provides practical support in living independently, help with technologies, ways to help continue reading, and advice on staying in or looking for work. The Royal New Zealand Foundations of the Blind Act 2002 signalled a major turning point in the organisation's history. The Act provided that the Foundation, with an option to register as an incorporated society, and it was structured in such a way as to become spent if the Foundation chose to exercise that option. The Foundation registered as an incorporated society on the 10th of January 2012, and accordingly, that act is now spent. When the Foundation approached me later last year seeking advice on repealing the 2002 Act, I was really pleased to be able to assist them, because we know they want a journey towards more independence. And the Foundation seeks to repeal the bill for two main reasons. The first, that they are concerned that keeping the Act on the statute books causes confusion, and it suggests that the Foundation is still a statutory body, which of course it is not. And secondly, the repeal of the Act will emphasise the Foundation's status as an entity that is completely independent from Parliament. I know the Found Blind Foundation was very grateful for the supportive approach the members of the Select Committee took as they worked their way through this bill. And they also appreciated the opportunity to be able to inform the committee about the work that they have been doing for 126 years. I would like to thank Simon O'Connor, who was the chair of that Select Committee, the Health, Health Select Committee, and all the members of that committee for the service that they did and that they worked so well together. The support offered through the Foundation ensures that all low vision or blind New Zealanders are empowered to live 
independent lives. And I'm sure all members in the House will join me in thanking the Foundation for delivering such an invaluable service for 126 years. I commend this bill to the House. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.